Well, greetings to you once again, my brothers and my sisters in Christ Jesus. I greet you in that name that is above every other name, at the name of Jesus Christ. Every knee bows, every tongue confesses, because He, He, the Lord Jesus Christ, is Lord. He's above it all, and in Him we live, we move, and we have our being. And in all that goes on on this world, at such a time as this, remember always God is in control. He's above it all, and it's His bat, His ball, His world. The earth is the, is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. That means none of it belongs to anybody else. The devil is a usurper. The devil is a liar. He's been lying from the very start. And yeah, you know, there was, <laughs> there was all throughout, throughout, he's just been lying. And people that have bought into the lie, that have bought into the game, they perpetuated that lie. But that lie never becomes the truth. It may be an obfuscation of reality, but it never becomes the truth. Because there's always that secret that they got to keep you away from, which is the fact of who you are. You are a child of the living God. You are a son, a daughter of God Most High in Christ Jesus. You've been bought and paid for by the blood of Christ. You've been redeemed. And your life has meaning and purpose and reason for being. And at the name of Jesus Christ, all these demons in hell have to bow and get out the way. They have to get out the way. <laughs> all right. So, the reality of who you are has to always be kept in the forefront of your mind. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. What the world wants to do is get you to perpetuate another reality because it cannot create anything. It has no creative power in itself. It can only manipulate the things of God. So it has to take the things that God has and manipulate them, but it cannot create. So it needs to take you who have creative power, God's power inside of you, you created in the image and the likeness of God, and create out of you um, the hellish reality that it wants. <laughs> so it needs to get you to believe a lie, get you to believe a falsehood, get you to believe that you're no good, get you to believe that you can't do something, get you to believe that life is going to always be this way, get you to believe that there's no power and there's no solution, get you to, I'm not talking to somebody today. All right, so you know what that's what the game is. You know that that's what the plan is. You know that that's what the efforts of the enemy are with their massive PR operation and all the different channels that they can put in front of your face to show you uh, FOMO, fear of missing out. Show you, um, oh, here's all the power and the threats that they can make and so that you don't dare try to cross them. Listen, when, when the children of God understood who they were, they did not fear their lives unto death. They did not, because what can man do to unto me? Fear not those that can kill the body, but fear those that after the, the body is gone, that, that, that can throw your soul into hell. That's what God said. And that's the one that we serve. He's the one that can throw your soul into hell. And He loves you, and He's got you. And incidentally, He's going to be tossing a bunch of them in there, because they've rejected Him. They've rejected the truth. They've rejected it. And every time that they hurt you, that they hurt the people of God, they heap judgment upon themselves. They secure their own destruction, their own eternal damnation. You need to know that if God calls you to do something, whatever God has you to do, it will be done in Christ Jesus. Whatever God has for you to do, if you just, you just do your part. You just show up. You just speak the word. You speak the truth. You do, you do what we're doing right now. Even though you don't feel like it. Even though you're tired in your body, in your mind, you go. You know what? The second that this thing comes on, the Spirit of God takes over. And there you go. All you got to do is make yourself open. Open to what God wants to do with and through you. And God will do the rest. God will do the rest, but you got to do your part. You got to show up and you got to pray. And you know what? 
Yeah, I want to pray. Let's pray. Let's pray right now. Father God, in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, Father God, for my brothers and sisters in Christ that are listening to this right now. Lord, I pray for them, Father, that you would encourage them, that you would strengthen them, that you would build their faith, Father, in you, that you would help them to see through the lie and the deception and the tricks of the enemy. All of that um, plans and tricks and working of the enemy that tries to just bring them down and to bring them into a dark place, to bring them in a place of hopelessness, to bring them in a place of despair, try to work their minds and their spirits into a terrible spot. Father, in Jesus' name, we just rebuke all of that. These are your children, Lord God. Father, I pray, Father, for them right now, that there would be a spirit of liberty and peace within them. I pray, Father God, that they would look up because their salvation draweth nigh. I pray, Lord God, that you would comfort them by your Holy Spirit, by your angels, Lord. I pray that you would detach your angels, uh, dispatch your angels unto them, Father God, to take up their charge and, Lord, to watch over them and to guide them through these difficult times, Lord. I pray, Father, that they would always have, all of us would always have the reinforcements of heaven around us and in our spirits and in our hearts at all times. Father, I pray, Lord God, right now that all of these works of the devil that are coming forward and being exposed, oh God, I just pray, we pray right now that they would fall apart. Lord, we pray that they would all just fall apart into just a big heap on the ground. All these plans, all these deceptions, all their machinery, Father, we pray that they would go bankrupt, that they would go, that they would fall apart, that all their things, Lord, that there would be no value ascribed to them anymore because we transition from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that the things of the world will go strangely grow strangely dim not just for the follower of Christ but for everyone because the things of the world are foolishness and are useless and are a waste I pray and Lord we pray right now that the measures of value would change that the things of the Lord would be honored and the things of the enemy and the world would be disgraced, that the inverted system would be brought right, that light would come forward and that the enemy would be bound completely and tossed into a pit. And Lord, we pray, Father, against all of those all of those that oppose the light, all of those that oppose the truth. Father, we also pray right now, Lord, for those that are engaged in human trafficking, in modern day slavery, in the slave system. Father, in Jesus' name, all of them, Father, we pray that they would be dealt with, that you by your spirit would deal with them. Lord, you said in your word that it, that it would be better for somebody to have a millstone tied around their neck and drown in the bottom of the ocean than for them to hurt one of these little ones. And Lord, they don't just hurt these little ones. Father, they make a business out of it. They make a business out of it. And they don't just hurt one. They hurt many, many, many. Lord, we pray, Father God. Lord, let justice come swiftly. But justice comes swiftly, Lord God. And Father, we pray, Lord, too, that they would not just go up to their end, Father God, and just meet it just like that. Lord, we pray that the terror of what they've done would grip them, that they would fear, and that they would be in the grips of fear all of their days. Let there be no sleep for them. Let there be no rest for them. Let there be no place of laughter and coarse joking and political dealing. Let their minds be preoccupied with the fact that every day it closes in on them. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and judgment is coming. And though they have the institutions of the world system trying to protect them, they can't protect them anymore. They cannot protect them from what's coming, what's eating away at them inside their own flesh, inside their own bodies what's eating away at them inside their own minds. They're all going insane. There's confusion and insanity in Jesus' name. All of that's spoken over them. They grope around in the darkness in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray, Father, 
Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters. I pray that you'd give them a spirit of boldness. I pray, Lord God, that you would quicken them to do your will. And I pray, Father, in Jesus' name, that all of them would be at peace. Peace. And Lord, for those that are on the front lines right now, those that are being caught up in, in things and, and are, are taking hits, Lord, we pray that across the board, that all of them would be strengthened this day. That all of them, Lord God, that are being unjustly accused or targeted or unjustly uh, attacked or, or singled out, Lord, we pray for all of them, Father. Lord, that you would raise them up. Raise them up in power and in strength. Let this be an incredible time, Lord, where people see the, the, the hand of God breaking through on behalf of your children and on behalf of those that are doing the right thing. Father, there's many that are also, Lord God, that they've kind of been in between and, Lord, they've been sort of one foot in the world and one foot in the kingdom. And they're yours, but they've, 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 been, uh, they've been playing around, Lord God in between and I just pray for those ones Lord that you would draw them over completely into the light and these difficult circumstances that they've been in the middle of pray Lord God that you would use these to just bring them out completely and totally 100% fired up for you and Lord all of the witchcraft of the nights and all of the witchcraft Lord God that the enemy tries to spew on people's lives throughout the evenings throughout the night hours Lord, we pray, Father God, Lord, we pray that all of those things would be neutralized and sent back to the senders, destroyed, torn apart, and every one of those ones that have, have been used by the enemy in Santeria, in astral projection, in, in uh, all of these incantations, all of them, that are they, they, we pray that they would be all exposed at this moment right now and cut off in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. And Lord, I pray, Father God, also for my brothers and sisters that are um, <clears throat> right now in a time where their bodies are um, struggling and they have health complications and health issues. Some of them from just um, attack and some of them from just, um, uh, just <clears throat> places that they're living or some of the context. Father, whatever it may be, I pray, Lord, that whatever causes are the underlying causes of these um, dis-ease in their bodies. I pray, Lord God, that those would be revealed and that you would give them um, ways of dealing with those in the natural. And Lord, I just pray right now for them also too, if they're in the spirit, that if there's something that has, has been hurt and is also complicating that or making it worse or the source of it, I pray that you would heal that. Lord, right now, I just pray for all of them, Father, in their body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, be healed. Amen. Amen. Listen, you guys, you don't have to wait for some special thing or some special time to pray. We pray continually. We pray whenever God gives us something to pray about. And we pray because God's given us that power, that right, that authority to pray. We love you guys. Look, listen, there's going to be more and more and more coming up right now. More and more and more on the horizon. There's going to be so much. And the evil is just going to continue to get exposed, revealed, and in Jesus' name, removed. God is just shaking the whole thing. Shaking everything that can be shaken. So, with that, just you got to do listen just do your part sometimes it's just showing up but pray in Jesus name and know that God's with you we love you guys God bless you drop us an email faithmix at gmail.com um, just, just a quick shout out to you guys we love you quick prayer God bless talk to you soon bye